Well, Hurricane Kelvin is making its way across the Pacific. So let's get the latest information. We're going to turn things over to Davey D right now. And Davey, it's still in the eastern Pacific, but we could possibly feel some effects later. Yeah, and we'll look at that in our eight-day uh, forecast lay. But let's again mm -hmm. jump into the Hurricane Tracking Center. As of 5 a.m. this morning, and then as of 11 when that update came in, Hurricane Kelvin now a Category 3 storm, uh, about 2,100 miles still east southeast of Hilo, so still very very far away and over the next couple of days it is going to be traveling over some cooler water 79 degrees that is the magic number for that uh, hurricane to maintain its uh, strength and intensity but as it moves towards the west you're going to see those numbers 77 76 so those are going to help us out in starting to break up uh, hurricane calvin along with the wind shear so that is good news again uh, about 2100 miles east southeast and most of the spaghetti models are in agreement that it is going to pass uh, so, uh, south of Hawaii Island. So in the impacts we're going to see is possibly a large swell for the east facing shores, some heavier rains uh, Tuesday into Wednesday, and then some gusty winds. So that is going to be happening possibly midweek next week, of course. We've got more details on this at KITV.com as we track Kelvin. Leigh?